guys, Shaker Allen Roll coming back at you with another video, and today we are doing record predictions for the Arizona Cardinals. Don't forget to click that subscribe button to subscribe for more great content. Let's hop into the video now. Cardinals were, I would say, one of the busiest teams this offseason. I think that's safe to say. Um, they definitely did not have a bad offseason. I think they were, they actually had a pretty good offseason. Uh, for my standards, so yeah, the Cardinals. Let's go over their team. Kyler Murray, a quarterback, he was on an MVP like like level. He hurt his shoulder, I think, and then he just fell off a cliff. Um, Cardinals whole team collapsed, uh, and they would lose their final four or five games, I believe, and miss out on the postseason. It's very disappointing. This season, I think they could get back into playoff contention, though. So, we'll see how this season plays out. Running back, they let go of Kenyon Drake, but they have Chase Edmonds, who I think is very serviceable. And they have, what's his name? Um, oh, right, James Conner. Yeah, that's the guy. Receiver, I think they're very good at receiver. They have DeAndre Hopkins, who in my opinion is the best receiver in football. Uh, hands... I wouldn't say route runner, but definitely hands wise. Um, they have they signed AJ Green. They have Andy Isabella. They drafted Rondale Moore, and they have Christian Kirk to play in the slot. Um, at tight end, I don't love it. They let go of Dan Arnold, but they have Max Williams. I guess maybe he'll be the answer or something. They improved the offensive line though by making a massive trade for Rodney Hudson, giving up a third and a fifth to the Raiders for Rodney Hudson. That was a move that the Cardinals needed to make, in my opinion. It was a great move. So, on to the defensive side. I think their offense will be good, but they still have holes offensively. Defensively. One of the biggest losses moves by trading, I mean, by signing J.J. Watt. Most people didn't think he would go to, like, the Cardinals, but he's there. He signed with the Cardinals, I guess. So, that's a thing. But, yeah. The Cardinals... Um, have Chandler Jones, who I believe is in a contract dispute right now, but I'm not completely certain about that. Uh, the rest of the pass rush, they didn't let go of Son Reddick, which I thought they probably should have kept him around, but I don't know. Uh, they have Isaiah Simmons, a linebacker, who wasn't properly used in his first season, but his second season, I think that he's properly used, he will break out. Uh, they all, along with him, they had they had drafted Zayvon Collins, who's basically the same player as him. So that will be pretty fun to see how that turns out. Um, at corner, I don't love corner. I mean, they have Byron Murphy, but no boundary corner, so they're probably just gonna be toast on the boundary. I mean, they could pull off a, a trade for Xavier Howard, though. You never know. Uh, safety, Buda Baker, very good. Um, that's really it at safety. So yeah, let's go do record predictions for the Cardinals. I think they're a very solid team. Week number one, I this is a tough game for me. I have no idea who's going to win this match. I'm just going to give it to the Titans at home. I don't know quite yet about the Cardinals' run D. I think Derek Henry will have a big game. And then week two, they're going to start off 0-2 against the Vikings. Uh, I like the Vikings better. Week three, they're going to start off 1-3. and three. They'll get a win over the Jags and then lose to the Rams. They get kind of back on track, but then they lose again. I think they'll beat the 49ers at home at Week 7. The DeAndre Hopkins revenge game. I think they'll win that. Week 8 against Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers returns. I don't think they'll win. Uh, week 9, San Fran. Starting off 3-6. and six. I think the second half of the year they'll have a surge, though. Week 10, I think they'll beat Carolina. Week 11, they'll lose again. Dude, why? Why does it have to be like this? They're 5-8. and eight. They need to make a playoff push. And I don't know if they're going to do it. Yeah, eight, finishing eight and nine, so disappointing, man. They they just couldn't get it done. Like they have a tough schedule. I feel like. I mean, the Packers, Rams, Colts at home. Even still play the Niners, who I think are very good. Team has a pretty hard schedule. Actually, I'm going to give him a win over the Colts because I don't love the Colts right now. Carson Wentz kind of injured, but 
yeah, that's a thing to keep your eye out for. I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but I'm happy that the Browns signed Nick Chubb to a three-year, $36 million extension. I, I meant to talk about it, but I just forgot to. So, yeah, that's a thing, and I enjoy it. Back to the Cardinals. Now, they finished 9-8. and eight. They're 9-2 and two against the... I'm going to go in and see after this how good they are against winning teams and losing teams. But, yeah, I mean, they have a tough schedule. I didn't even realize that was that tough. I thought... The Colts also lost Quinn Nelson as well, so, I mean, for 5 to 12 weeks, same surgery as Carson Wentz, so. I don't know how good the Colts are the first half of the season. I'm going to go over the Colts real quick, just to um, see that, because I know, yeah, that's such a tough stretch games. They, in week 8, they literally play one bad team, that's it. So, yeah, the Colts are kind of screwed, but hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Cardinals record Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video.